Once again, thank you very much on behalf of this family for being here. What a great honor it is to remember a great man. I know they're very grateful for all your prayers and your love and your support through this time. Thank you so much for being here. Jesus gave us this promise in John 11, 25. He said, I am the resurrection and the life, and he who believes in me will live even though he dies. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. He also gave us this other promise in John chapter 5 and verse 24. 
Whoever hears my word and believes him who has sent me has eternal life and will not be condemned, but rather is crossed over from death into life. And the psalmist gave us this promise as well in Psalm 49 and verse 15. He said, But God will redeem my soul from the power of the grave, for he shall receive me unto himself. On this beautiful afternoon as we gather here, as we lay Mr. Richard, If we put our faith in Christ, we will have that family reunion. The Bible says that death has no victory. It has no sting. But it gives us this other promise. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So today as we gather with sadness in our hearts and tears in our eyes, we also gather with hope and we also gather with victory. King David in Scripture knew what it was like to go through difficult times. And he wrote some words for all of us here for this very moment that we would find comfort in these words that he wrote for us. He said, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil because you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies, and you anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. And surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I think today Richard would, would want us to know that he dwells in the house of the Lord forever. That he's in a place where there is no sorrow, no pain, no crying, no fear, nothing to worry about, no anxious thought, no discomfort. That he's in a place where there is no pain and no fear, no tears, no crying. He would want you to know that he's at peace with his Savior, Jesus Christ. And he would want you to know these words as well from Philippians chapter 4. Whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue, if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. And the things which you learned and received and heard and saw in me, these do, and the God of peace will be with you. That is our prayer, that you go today with the God of peace and the peace of God, that he may comfort you and give you rest, and we would always remember our beloved brother, Richard Overton. Would you please pray with me? Heavenly Father, we thank you for your presence here with us, God. Father, we entrust Richard Overton, Father, into your care. Thank you so much for his life. Thank you for his example. Thank you for his love and his friendship. Lord God, thank you for all the joy that he brought to this world, to his family, to those around him, God. Father, we will never forget him, and our lives will never be the same. Father, help us to live, live out his legacy, Lord God, and continue to honor one another, serve each other, value humanity, Lord God, and to truly make a difference in this world. Father, we thank you that we get to see him again, that this is not the end. Until then, Lord God, be with this family, comfort them, give them rest, give them strength, give them peace. And we pray all this in the one whose name is Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. That concludes the services for today. Thank you very much, and God bless you.